12 useful tips for Wo Long in no specific order. Fatal Strikes Holding L1 or just slowly approaching the enemy will allow you to go undetected whilst not in the enemy's line of sight. We can pull off fatal strikes from behind like this or from above. Also if you time it well, you can assassinate a bitch whilst running. Breakfall Jumps Something I love about this game is the ability to perform a breakfall jump. When performing a double jump, the second jump will reset our height, making any drop survivable. Overload! You might have noticed this symbol at some point, or become enraged when you suddenly find it impossible to deflect enemies' attacks. If your equipment weight exceeds 100%, then you'll be unable to deflect attacks or dodge, and your martial arts spirit consumption will greatly increase. Equipment and smithing. Ju Shia can be found in the hidden village or at set areas during missions. If you're looking to upgrade, transmog, add special effects or scrap gear into materials, then she's the girl to see. Salvage and storage. As just mentioned, once unlocked, you can convert unwanted equipment into crafting materials, so rather than selling them, hold on to them for later. From the sell menu, you can also send items back to your storage box in batches. For some reason, you can't send them from the main menu. Hopefully it'll be patched in down the line. Enemy Hierarchy Some battle flags are already in use by the enemy. To access them, you'll have to take out the nearby leader marked with this symbol. You'll be able to see the symbol once targeting them. The leader has followers marked with this symbol, and the lower end of their spirit gauge will shrink once their leader is dead, making clearing out the rest of the camp a lot easier. Stats and Vanity Resets Once you reach the hidden village, you'll find Zuo Ti in the hut near the battle flag. He'll reset your stats or appearance for free, and trade your completed accolades for rewards. Cicada Hermit Golden cicada shells can be traded to the hermit hanging out on top of the watchtower, and he'll give you a reward for every five or so that you find. Oath Gear Fighting alongside other warriors will increase your oath level with them. Reaching oath level 5 or higher will improve their performance in battle. But when reaching oath level 10, you'll be given a copy of their favorite equipment. Once unlocked you can pick up the equipment using the deliveries option at the battle flag. Shisho Pandas Shisho are panda-like demons that act like Snuggly the Crow does in the Souls games. If you drop an item for a Shisho, they'll reward you with a random item in return. So far my rewards have mostly been accessories. Morale Rank Morale Rank massively affects battle strength for both ourselves and enemies. If the enemy has a higher morale rank than us, it'll be displayed above their head. The higher the number, the more of a threat they are. If we score a critical strike on an enemy, it'll decrease their morale rank and vice versa. Our morale rank is reset when starting a new mission, this is why we're unable to cast certain spells initially. Flag Types There are two types of flags, Battle Flags and Marking Flags. Battle flags act as checkpoints similar to bonfires in Dark Souls. Here you can summon reinforcements, change your spells or purchase battle supplies. Marking flags increase your fortitude rank. Think of your fortitude rank as a morale bank. For example my fortitude rank is 11 so if I die then my morale can't fall any lower than 11 either. 